Hello there. Welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sensor Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here. Doing a reading for Cappy. So welcome into the channel. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you so much for being here. While you're here, show some love and some support. Hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button, please. <laughs> you know, yesterday my Capricorn sister asked me why I can't just ask for something without saying please. Why do I have to say please all the time? I'm Cancer. She's Capricorn. So we're two different people. But I thought to myself, you know, I'm going to stop saying please because I asked her to do something for me. And she really bad me up. Okay, so something about a union. I was going to say alignment for you, Capricorn. But it's a union. It has something to do with your will or your desire for something to start happening. Maybe you need a job and you're writing resumes. Or you just ha you you're you're compelling the forces of nature to work in your favor for you to get the call for this job because you really want it. The feelings in your body are intense. I don't I don't know if it is worry or if it is anxiety or if it is just the feeling of you creating what you want. You are if there's something about an employer, you're going to sure prosperity. That's what the card says. The card also says sober. Um welcome to a place of magic. Hopeful expectations, hopeful prosperity, and that you're to welcome in well-being. So whatever you've been focused on manifesting, you've had your intention set on a goal or a job. Okay? Maybe there's a part of you sometimes that feels tired or drowsy, or like you just want to sleep. Um, but um, apart from that, there's a sincere opportunity coming around for you. I feel that is going to align you with work. Okay? Money. Yeah, you're going to be counting some money. I feel that you're going to be counting some money in your hands with the five of wands. Mm -hmm. Like you're doing this. Like you're counting money. All right. So it turns out this is a money reading. Any other messages for financial stability or income for the sign of Capricorn in this message? Look at that, the two of pentacles repeated. There could be someone traveling, moving toward you, or you're moving or relocating, going to the water, going to the calmer side of the water, working out your emotions, trusting more, releasing anxiety, like just letting go, you know, maybe going with the flow. And we see also, like we see, I feel like emotions are playing a part in your week ahead or your or this week, you know, emotions. I feel you may have been anxious or uptight or worried, concerned about maybe money, okay? But I do feel like I say money coming into your hand. It's going to, maybe you're going to receive a message or you're literally receiving some paper and it's in changing your emotion so you feel more sure it's like you were going down the river and you weren't sure which direction to go or you weren't sure of the the force of the water but now you feel like you're on safer water you know where you're gonna go okay for this week financially so like i said that call for a job there's also maybe in attraction um between two people so maybe you could be attracting this this work but it's re it's right for you like it's right up your avenue and this can also be um a romantic connection for some people like desires because the six of one says romance in pursuit of something so it could be in pursuit of love but i feel in pursuit of a job yeah you're probably going to be out on the road somewhat this week um maybe uh, applying for jobs or moving trying to move from a place where you feel more secure financially. You're going to actually, I feel definitely attract, you're going to go into a place um, that is right for you, a place, a building, an institute, and it's going to be a place you actually succeed in, I feel. The four hearts, mm, could be a place uh, where, where there's cologne 
or self-care items i do feel like body spray and makeup um i don't know like so maybe where you have to deal with people or communicate or share love or it's a space where you can actually maybe you're working from home for some of you okay um flowers still in flowers i don't know maybe you're going to going out purchasing thing and things and bringing them back in your home it's making you feel secure financially because i feel like it could be things that you're selling or using to set up a business okay Something having to do with the Aries, Leo, so, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a fire sign as well. And this person is also in hot pursuit of what? Dreaming again, recreating a new dream, making decision by desires, new destination. Okay. Uh, what else for Capricorn in this message, please, angels, for guides? Any other input? important relevant message important messages i feel like you could be meeting a friend or a soulmate connection so this could be a friend a family or love that's important that's what's important why is this important maybe it's almost like someone that's more like normally resonated with you someone that you can normally get along with or talk with like someone that is up to your standard. You know what I mean? Or you are going to go to this person or move to this place. Hierophant marriage. Are you going to be, are you pregnant or proposing to someone? Or someone is proposing to you? We see the Hierophant, the card of marriage, union, possible. The seven also here. So this can be a union in business. It can also be in love or both because we have two of hearts and two of pentacles. We have the king of pentacles, which is your energy. We also have the king of wands. So we're talking about fire sign and earth. And a bit of cups, cups energy as well, love. We have the two of cups and the four of cups. Someone may be offering someone something and there may be, they may be taking time to really think about this offer. Could be offering love, offering some emotional support or guidance. You're evaluating the cup still. You're like, hmm, you're contemplating like, hmm. I said I wasn't going to talk to you again, but since this is so divine, let me consider or let me reconsider you're like i hope it doesn't taste like those other three cups over there because i don't like that red flavor juice i wanted something else so i hope what you're coming with is different but the divine that's offering you is not even saying anything to you they're so confident so maybe you're going to accept this offer we're going to taste this water, this love. So this can be words that are going to be spoken to you. Someone is looking at something that was lost. The Empress is a card of being pregnant or holding the world, bearing ideas of fruitfulness. Really, you know, like real fire, energy, vibration, and earth water as well she's all the elements i feel here but she's looking at something that she's lost in her past family connection love things that happened in a building upstairs or downstairs or at a river or some having to do with water friends or family consciousness like all that's lost what are you about to do with this you're about to redirect, refocus, recharge, re-enter, rethink, reschedule. Maybe you're wondering if you should accept this proposal or if you should stay home. 
It could be three people that mean something to you that you've lost. Okay, three people. All right, Capricorn, let's take the tower. Yeah, something, something. Listen, it's the energy of the river flooding down a lot of debris stones dirty water but it's it's cha oh yes but it's changing the bedding of the river itself so the stones are shifting have you ever can you feel that like the river is flooding down maybe the rain is pouring heavily but the bedding of so even though it appears to be so um rough on the surface it's like a transformation going on because the bedding of the river is changing this i can feel the stones moving it's like a massage for the earth really as things change and realign and shift and clear out also clear out and make a new way so it's like some emotional transformation going on energetically as well. Someone will be crying or detoxing or something. Letting go of emotions, flooding the river, clearing the passages, releasing something. Queen of Cups. So someone doesn't really want to talk about something, definitely keeping a secret, maybe from this Queen of Cups, what you're saying, possibly their mother, about something that ended and this person is like looking in. It's like your mother would know something and you don't want to tell her about what's going on. The Ten of Pentacles. Oh my god, so moving from the five to the ten of pentacles. I like that so much. It's beautiful. I like that. Maybe this is Queen of Cups vibration. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Cancer Pisces Scorpio again once more with the nine of cups. But someone has a secret and they're keeping it because of this. The ten of cups and the five of cups. Like you don't want to interrupt a journey or what? Interrupt your prosperity. There may be two children and another one. And these are angels for its guides. Okay, Cancer. Okay, Capricorn. Um, Someone is keeping a secret. That's what, I feel like I lost something there because I was saying someone is keeping a secret that something is happening. The Empress card feels like secret also. Um, and the moon energy is the card of secrets. A secret that's making them worried and keeping them up at night and playing on the mind. Oh yeah. Listen to your heart. Um, the answer I was looking for is right here, but I forgot what the question even was. It came through, but I forgot. I'm clearing out the water. And I forgot who this is. Who is this? Could be about motherhood or pregnancy. Oh, I was going to say, like, someone may be afraid that another person may stop loving them or understanding them if they tell the secret. That's exactly what I didn't want to not say. Yeah. So, leaving that message there for you. But don't believe it, you know. It's not... Because the 10 of this celebration, this gains financially, feeling good, achieving your goals, prosperity, so on and so forth, your dreams, your visions, it has come out on the board. So I feel it's already done. Um, I do hope you found some messages here that uh, inspires you and is able to help you on your journey. This Queen of Cups here, she's not easy. 
So please do leave a like on the video. I really do appreciate your gestures of gratitude toward this message. So like the video, please. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. If you're a subscriber, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you in the next reading room that you are on Capricorn. And all is within you. All right. So take that leap of faith. Trust. I feel like there's something on your heart that you've been wondering if you should do. So take that leap of faith and do so. All right. See you later. Like, share, comment, subscribe.